that a repair planner is in addition to our collision platform, which uh, gives you guys access to import your estimates from uh, all three major estimating systems, uh, being CCC, uh, Mitchell, and Autotex, or Captor, as it's uh, now called. Now, when you import an estimate to all that a repair planner, which you know uh, you bring in from. Uh, your EMS uh, export from your estimating system. Once it's imported into all data, uh, it's available for all users on your account. So, you know, not necessarily just the estimators, but also technicians out uh, in the bay uh, have access to the estimate, all the line items. And what the repair planner does is it brings your estimate in and automatically pulls up all of the OEM content related to all of the line items on your estimate. Uh, so you can, you know, both collision and mechanical procedural information. Uh, it will bring up all of that, uh, that information uh, so you can go in there and have a look at whatever it is that you need to grab informationally. So if I wanted to have a look at, say, this roof rail procedure right here, I can go, you know, right in there and have a look, you know, that information. Uh, or uh, say the quarter panel would be a better example, you know, for the actual sectioning or removal and replacement procedures. And then have a look at that information. Now also, of course, you know, all of the procedural content on the repair planner, you can either print uh, or uh, save as a PDF if you wanna upload it to your estimating system. In addition, of course, to all of the uh, you know, information that's on your estimate, you have uh, links to you know, relevant information uh, that may be pertinent to the repair uh, that's not yet on your estimate. So if you wanted to have a look at you know, collision avoidance or parking systems, you know, so ATIS related sensors and required calibrations, I could have a look at that information as well as the repairs and inspections you know, required after a collision, which allow you to go in and see what the OEM uh, you know, has in terms of uh, required safety uh, inspections and replacement items. So in this case for, you know, GM, I can see, you know, what uh, GM wants to, you know, inspect and or replace as, you know, part of the post-collision uh, repair procedure. Regardless of what the information is, all of the OEM content is, you know, there available for you. It saves a ton of time. And uh, once, like I said, it, you know, imported into the system, then it's available for all users on your account to have access, you know, to those uh, those procedures without having to, you know, import it on their device. And then you can, of course, move from estimate to estimate, you know, within the system to, you know, pull up all of that procedural information as needed and see what's going on to make sure no uh, items are being, you know, missed uh, in the estimating or repair process.